Welcome to another episode of Sub O Tours. We are your hosts. I'm Misha. I'm Mai. And I'm Anjo. And we are here to talk about the biggest, the only MCU movie of 2024. Really? Yes, Nothing it is. Else? Nothing else. Wait, wait. Oh yeah, Captain America's for next year. Yeah, that's in February. Mm. We are here to talk, of course, about Deadpool and Wolverine, the third in the Fox series of Deadpool movies, but the first to be produced by Disney Studios since they bought Fox. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. So many claps. Why are we clapping? I don't know. I got excited. It's Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting. I've been waiting a week to talk about this movie. Oh my god. The hype for this movie has been nothing short of ridiculous. Yep. Those guys, Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds, have been everywhere hyping the living shit out of this movie. I mean, I guess it's also because of the real life friendship that they've had. That's true, which mm-hmm. ironically started when they shot the god awful 2009. X-Men Origins Wolverine movie. We don't talk about that one. No, we don't talk about that The fake Deadpool? The fake Deadpool. Like, what's the point of Deadpool if you sew his mouth together? (laughs) Nothing. Then it's not Deadpool. Exactly. He becomes the Merc without a mouth. Right? Right. That's so sad. It It is sad. Well, the legend goes that the 2016 movie only got made because the online community had such a good response to the test footage of an R-rated Deadpool action sequence, which is basically what the first five minutes of the original movie. But to this day, nobody wants to admit who leaked that footage onto the internet that got that movie made. I still have my theories that it's got to be Ryan Reynolds himself. I don't think he. I don't think that it could be anyone else. I think it really was Ryan yeah. Reynolds. Maybe either way, whoever leaked that footage, thank you, because we have this gem of a trilogy. Well, like kind of. Kind of. Well, the second one was like meh. Nah. That, that's why, like, 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 um, because like the studio, 20th Century Fox looked at that test footage after the disaster that was um, X-Men Origins Wolverine and they said that yeah we don't think people are going to watch or pay for an R-rated superhero movie they they underestimate the fans they absolutely did and here we are that it's Marvel it's Disney who is paying for this absolutely filthy violent (laughs) ridiculous that's that's why I'm wearing this Marvel shirt Uh uh-huh they got the 90s vintage logo going on here too for sure for sure but I think that's also part of the shock value in general is that you can't get it out of your head that wait a minute this is a Disney movie Mm -hmm. at the end of the day and there's all this cussing there's all this blood so I think that adds to the appeal, actually. Yeah. I think you're absolutely right. Because um, when you think about it, this is not what anyone expects from the House of Mouse or their family-friendly MCU movies. But as it's been pointed out, and as they mentioned multiple times in the movie, the MCU is <laughs> not where it used to be. Yeah. Which means <laughs> they're... A low point. <laughs> a very, very low point in the MCU. So now they're more willing, it looks like, to poke fun at themselves, to poke fun at their failures, yeah. and just remind everyone they're still around. And I think that's why they're putting so much money into the marketing of this movie. And I think it's really hard to say no to Ryan Reynolds, given like how much money he's raked in. Mm-hmm. For them, with the first uh, couple of Deadpool movies. I mean, the already. number, yeah, exactly. The numbers don't lie. Yeah, true. The true. popularity of the character doesn't lie because up to date, I guess he's one of the most popular Marvel characters there are, despite and having the Avengers and all these other superheroes come out. That's absolutely true. But I think that this is a case where um, the last few Marvel movies absolutely had to fail before Disney would agree to let them go all the way with this. Because, like, think about it. They were uncomfortable with the R-rated shows that were done by Netflix. Daredevil, Iron Fist, Jessica Jones. Punisher. Punisher. <laughs> That's super R-rated. <laughs> yeah. And for the longest time, Kevin Feige wouldn't even answer the question directly. Do these shows count? But mm-hmm. now, after all these failures... They're on Disney Plus all of a sudden. I mean, yeah. they also did Echo, which was, you know, probably... Kind of R-rated. Kind of, it was the first show that had to have a, a disclaimer about the violence. I guess, I guess. But yeah, I think you're absolutely right. It is the friendship of these two idiots that mm-hmm. makes this movie idiots. work. <laughs> <laughs> and um, can I just say, we had a fantastic time at the <laughs> premiere. 
We saw this. Um, <laughs> I'm like, hmm, I wasn't there, but I hung out with giant Deadpool in Causeway Bay. Well, at least you were in Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah, you were in Hong Kong. With giant Deadpool. Yeah, I know. J- Jason and I had a selfie. And then we just realized after the selfie that the giant Deadpool's ass was photobombing us. <laughs> photobombing, she says. Mm-hmm. Not framing. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, Complete accident. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Tell us about the premiere. Um. Wow. That was great. There was like uh, so many media guests. A lot mm-hmm. of influencers. Cosplayers. There's just Prince so much. Guzman was there. So much things his stuff. happening. There was the claw machine. <laughs> Uh, a, I, I still think those claw machines are scams. They I've are never rigged. won. I've never won. You see my clip? I had that one egg that no, had. Th- like there a- was a there. <laughs> There was a there was a claw machine where you could win stuff like the the those those, those little dangly jewelry the the what are they the, pen, the pendants with the yeah. half Wolverine half Deadpool heart thingy oh yeah and and um I saw an interviewer. I saw an interviewer who was talking to um, <laughs> who was talking interviewing the cast, and he said he spent hundred and sixty dollars in the states just to get oh that my stupid thing. He kept going one hundred sixty dollars be- because at that theater, when you buy one movie ticket, that's one token. So he bought as many movie tickets as he had to Why? to win the thing because he wanted the thing. He wanted the jewelry. One hundred and sixty dollars. He wanted the jewelry. I don't know. That's close to 10,000 pesos. Dude. <laughs> yeah, but how was the experience like? Like watching with all these, you know, um, Marvel fans. Oh, it was great. It was like it was like watching a football game. It was uh-huh. insane. People were it was like watching the NBA finals yep. live. People were screaming, people were pointing at the screen. People were cheering, <sighs> clapping, people were cursing like holy Basic- shit. Basically, we were we were with the right crowd. It was like a wrestling match. Yes. Yeah, where people were cheering whenever they'd see their old favorite come out on screen or somebody would do something cool. How do you say it? It's like watching like um maybe Stone Cold Steve Austin. Dude, when Wo- Hugh you Jackman know, like- pulled on that mask, that place, the IMAX exploded. Oh, I'm yeah. not even kidding. Yeah. I think I teared up a little bit. Aww. And I love the call out. I love the call out of Deadpool. It's like, has it been 20 years before this happened? <laughs> it's like, perfect. Yes, it's been 20 years. It was years. so good. And it was such a rewarding experience because nobody knew what to expect from a Disney Deadpool movie. And also, nobody knew what to expect from Hugh Jackman because he, is, he yeah. died in Logan. Exactly. <laughs> that was a beautiful movie though. I loved Logan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was such an unbeautiful way of addressing it in the opening of I this know. movie. Oh my god, the desecration and the mild so necrophilia. I mild. Cannot. Mild necrophilia. Oh well, you know, it, it had the bye 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 dance number. Oh yeah. You know. Which Andrew still won't believe is not Ryan Reynolds. It really wasn't. What is wrong with you? Social media is fake, guys. What? People oh can post God. anything and claim it as the truth. But this guy actually <laughs> posted. He posted I could, it. I could post myself dancing by the bye bye. The guy's name was oh, Nick Pauly. Okay. No. The guy's name was Nick Pauly. And his agent called him when he was on vacation. He was at his mom's house. He had 30 minutes to learn the steps and send don't, in an audition tape. Don't don't shatter the image. Ryan Reynolds tagged him. And said thank you. Ryan Reynolds does a lot of things like leaking the Deadpool test footage. <laughs> that conspiracy Ryan Reynolds <laughs> said the only shots of himself <laughs> dancing in that bye 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 sequence are the shots with arthritis in them. Okay, as you know, he is a father of three. Okay, how uh, much arthritis do you have? One third of that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I believe him. I believe him. I believe him. Okay. But that um part made me cackle because I know the original choreography. I'm like, holy shit, that's the actual choreography. You He's know, totally doing I would it. have I would have paid money to watch this movie with you and just watch you dance along with them. <laughs> that like, would be fun. I was trying within my seat. I was <laughs> I was like <laughs> I was bouncing along with. I think I was bouncing Ryan too. Reynolds. I think I was bouncing too, especially when he does the stomp. Yeah, bye 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 stomp. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was fun. It really was. And it was the entire freaking song. It was. In fact, in I, fact, that I did not expect. Well, here's the best part. If you go to NSYNC's official YouTube yeah, channel, yeah, yeah. they changed the name of the song. It's now bye bye bye. Official video from Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> Despite being posted 14 years ago. That's great marketing. It is very good marketing. Yeah, everybody marketing. is jumping onto this thing. Mm-hmm. Good for NSYNC. Yeah, yeah sure. Good they, for JT. 
uh, he's not doing very good right now. Uh, so I exactly guess that's a silver why. lining. <laughs> that's exactly why he needed this. Anyway, but yes, thank you to... Yes, thank you to Disney Philippines for having us over and Ardent Communications for inviting us to the premiere. Um, we had a great time and yes. I honestly rank that as one of my favorite in-cinema experiences ever. It's Sorry, like, my... No, no, it was like right up there with... <laughs> It was right up there with the portal scene from Endgame, except it was the whole movie. Yes. It was the whole fucking movie. From start movie. to finish. Yes. From start to finish. I think, I mean, I was telling Misha midway through the movie that this was a love letter to superhero movies, Marvel superhero movies in general, not just mm-hmm. the MCU, but those Even pre-ex- the Fox movies. Especially and, and, the Fox and, yeah. movies. And New Line. Like, what the yeah. hell? Blade was there. <laughs> yes. Holy shit. Speaking about Blade, I mean, talking about Blade, can we move on to the cameos? Which cameos were your favorite? Okay. Hmm. Hmm, there's just so many. Okay. <laughs> right off the bat, I feel like I cackled the loudest at Channing Tatum. <laughs> no, I think everybody did. I was holy no, God. I was cackling and yung nakakainis pa, which makes me even more frustrated that I wasn't with you guys. Ako lang yung is one of the few people who reacted. <laughs> na feeling ko na gets ko talaga that there was this Gambit movie that was never no. made yes. starring Char- Channing Tatum. Yes. No, and I, I was like, oh my God, they went there. I died. And then like a couple of other guys were like, oh. So I was like, but do you know my gets? It was so interesting that they put in that cameo of Gambit because he never existed. Exactly. Which and was he, covered by and the he dialogue. He's referencing it. He's like, I don't know where I came from. It's like I was just born here. <laughs> and then he finally is gonna make a name for himself. I was like, oh, oh and, it's, and it's so funny how he's still being Channing Tatum as his usual um, comic relief roles. Mm-hmm. Recently, he's done a lot of comic relief roles. Yeah, he was in Bullet Train. Yeah, he was in Bullet, yes, Train, Bullet Train as also comic relief. Yes. What was that Love- end of the world movie where he did that creepy but still hella funny? This is the end. This is the end. Yeah. Yep. You, yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> that was good. and even just, my name is Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> no. this, and he brought that Jeff accent all the way to Deadpool that, because oh he could not God. fully understand no, what which, he was saying. Which, Who is your dialect coach? Which was, Minions? <laughs> which was why it was so funny because the minute he spoke, I just laughed. I just died. I was like, oh my God, it gets so much worse the longer he talks. I know. <laughs> and I get my drink. Huh? <laughs> and you're like, ah, oh, that's why it was never made. No, I'm uh, just kidding. I think he really did that on purpose. But I like that Ryan Reynolds, because um, Channing Tatum gives all due credit to Ryan Reynolds mm-hmm. for supporting him all these years and for remembering him, for working hard to even put him in this movie. Because like you said, he waited 10 fucking years mm-hmm. to make his Gambit movie and it never happened. It still looked good too. And and, and in the same in that same note, Mahershala Ali has been waiting five fucking years to be Blade. That's uh, why I totally get Wesley Snipes when he said, there's only ever going to be one Blade. Oh. <laughs> and Deadpool oh, just looks late- at the camera like, hmm. Latest news about that They changed They dropped The latest director Dropped out That's not even a surprise They've been through Like five of them already mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One director a year I guess I guess so <laughs> I guess pathetic, so It's pathetic Really it's it is It's sad Which is why They needed this movie Yeah Marvel This is, is like movie. catharsis And it, the cool thing is that It's like I hate to bring up the wrestling reference again, but it really is like wrestling in that whatever's good for the business, that's what we're going to do. Never mind if there's bad blood. Never mind if there's there's tampo involved. Like fucking yeah. Ryan Reynolds called up Wesley Snipes after everybody had a shit show of an experience on Blade 3. <laughs> and because no, really, it's legendarily bad. Patton, As- Patton Oswald talked about all the shit that happened on that show where Wesley Snipes wasn't even showing up or he'd show up high or he'd refuse to open his eyes for a scene so they had to CGI his eyes in. What? <laughs> That's why there's so much improv from Ryan Reynolds in that movie because the other guy just wouldn't talk. Mm-hmm. So there's like, do whatever you have to do so it's not dead air. And yeah, it, it, but but when he called him up and said, hey, let's do this thing, Wesley Snipes is like, yeah, okay, it could be fun. So, I, I mean, Ryan Reynolds really put his back into this mm-hmm. making this character come to life he, and getting this movie made in precisely the way it had to be made he basically Nick Fury this whole thing very nice he assembled uh-huh. that. Right. speaking of assembled that cam that first cameo I did not expect that holy hell <laughs> he's gonna say it he's gonna say it <laughs> Avengers flame on <laughs> oh shit <laughs> everybody forget about that Fantastic Four movie. Yeah, Everybody yeah. forgot about yes. Chris Evans playing the Human Torch. I'd want to say 20 years ago. 
more or less. Yeah, 20 yeah. years ago. What the hell? Yun yeah, like before Real. he even dropped that line, he swore, right? Mm-hmm. Like yeah, he, so that he, should be your first clue. Yeah, I was like, oh, Cap swore. And then later it's like, oh, huh, it's not Cap. <laughs> <laughs> and then Pyro kicked his ass. <laughs> Oh that sucks. God. You're you're the fucking human torch and you don't just die to pyro. Well, he didn't die to pyro. No. Oh, lo- he, he, sorry, sorry. Lose to pyro. Mm. In the most spectacularly embarrassing way. It's okay. He really died with Cassandra Nova though. It Cassandra was his fault. <laughs> let's just let's just let's just be clear about it. It was not Deadpool's fault. God damn, he that was He did so- say all those bad things about Cassandra that Nova. That was filthy. That was absolutely filthy. Oh yeah. That was brutal. That was brutal. <laughs> but fun. Can I just say, I think my favorite line though in the whole movie besides, you know, welcome to the MCU. You're coming in at somewhere of a low point. <laughs> I think my favorite line in the movie was Jennifer Garner's reaction to Daredevil being dead. She's like, oh, that's fine. Yeah, I know. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I was like, oh. Oh, oh shit. Uh, Fuck. I didn't know that everybody else could be meta too. <laughs> that's fine. That's good shit. Yeah. Speaking of Jennifer Garner, she looked great. Mm. She looked like she did. I mean, like I mean, you get Hugh Jackman. He did. There, <laughs> this is the first segment. Yeah, but you know what really makes me sad is like just the sheer amount of spoilers online, and I'm not even talking about the people who are just posting spoilers for clout because those people should be dragged in the street and shot. But I'm mm. talking about like major news outlets like like Entertainment Weekly or or IGN. All these people they're posting highlights. From the movie, trying to explain things that people haven't even seen yet, and they're yeah. putting screenshots there. And it only got worse when um, when San Diego Comic Con happened because they <laughs> they had and I'm not kidding. They had what they called. They didn't say what it was going to be. They just said Deadpool and Wolverine, a celebration of life. And then so you had Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, uh, Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds, and the director Sean Levy come out on stage at San Diego Comic Con, and instead of doing a proper panel. They said, we're going to show you the whole fucking movie. Whoa. And then they did. And they watched it with the audience. Oh, that must have been I fun. Mean, I, mean, I mean, like, I would pay like thousands of dollars. But then what happened after that. that was they brought out everybody who had a fucking cameo in the movie Jesus. on stage. And then they started the panel. <sighs> so the, that would be the best five hours of my life. And then after that, they told everybody, okay, go watch the skies when you leave the convention center. And they Is this did, the Galactus that's thing? That's when they had that fucking drone show with Deadpool, Wolverine, Galactus, all that shit. shit. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, but, this, but, because, this year but was... because all the media outlets reported what happened, like even my mother knew that Elektra was in this movie. Oh, man. <laughs> That's kind of stupid. Ay. There's just things you don't report. You don't spoil the audience experience. Or wala man lang bang spoiler alert no, before they like you put click the whole, they anything. They put like pictures of the whole cast uh, now it's from the cl- stage. Because it's cloud. It's cloud. Everybody's about cloud. Well, yeah. like today, Chris Evans posted like a shot of himself in his outfit with the with the director and the and the two other guys. Uh, I guess it's something you just really gotta you know watch immediately. Yeah, but that's what I was telling Your Deng. Loss. That's what I was telling Deng because normally Deng has no problem with spoilers. Like tell her Dumbledore's gonna die. Cool, <laughs> you know. But in this case, I think knowing beforehand lessens the impact of the punchline because you know yeah. it, it's a, it's a setup for a joke. It's not just the guy being yeah. there; it's why he's there, mm-hmm. how he's there. Yeah. Knowing knowing the character of Deadpool, knowing the profile of the movies he's done, except for X Men Origins, you <laughs> know you know he's gonna be calling these out, and it's gonna for be sure. so self aware about the history of the characters, uh, of the characters who have a cameo in the movie. Yeah. So what else did we like? There's a lot that we need to go through, I guess. Cassandra That's Nova. True. Oh, Cassandra oh, Nova. Oh, Cassandra Nova. Uh, <laughs> Princess oh. die from the crown. She is so gorgeous. She actually is. Yeah, that's how you can tell a, a person is actually, you know, beautiful. You know, Natalie Portman when she was bald. Cassandra mm-hmm. Nova. When mm-hmm. she's bald. Karen she's Gillian. Oh, she's always bald. <laughs> K- Karen Gillian when she was blue and bald. Yeah. Blue and bald. Well, yeah, but yeah, she, her acting was amazing. Yep. Yes, absolutely. Her eyes are stunning. Yes, exactly. They were so entrancing. Like, it couldn't take my eyes off yeah. her. Like, she was so upset, apparently, you know, when she got the role for Cassandra Nova. Yeah, I get to be in a Marvel <laughs> movie. And um, they, they, they were like, when do I get my personal trainer? <laughs> you're a like, psychic. Oh, you're, you're you don't get, get one. one. No. You're, you're fine. And she's like, oh. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, 
Especially that part when Wolverine tries to attack her and she just like waves him off mm-hmm. and makes him a puppet. That was so badass. I like how disgusting her powers are. The chest like finger yeah. your Yeah, yeah, that was pretty comic acting. <laughs> it was also disturbing as all hell. Yeah, just seeing it mm. though, it's like it's different when it's actually moving and not from pages of a comic book. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about Mr. Darcy as the bad guy? Oh, oh he was so good. <laughs> Coming straight out of that character from Succession. And um, he does this. Yeah. <laughs> he was He's perfect. So he was perfect. Adorably animated. He was yeah. so inept. But he was also so middle management. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just couldn't… You know, like… He's Mr. Darcy. Like, <laughs> yes, you know, my my, bosh, my wife likes watching Sense and Sensibilities. Mm-hmm. And to me, he's like Mr. Darcy. Because he is Mr. Darcy. Because he is Mr. Darcy. And to watch him here, it's like, I can't see you this way. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't mind hurt when I can't see you this way. <laughs> I, I liked how, how he just decided to own the ridiculousness. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. he knew exactly what kind of movie he was in. He understood the assignment. As you should. As mm-hmm. It was just very well done. Very mm-hmm. well done. I mean, this is why I love this movie. is because you could clearly see the cast was having fun with it. Holy shit, yes. Like, you could tell they were having, you know, balls to the walls fun. Like, they didn't hold back at all. They were hamming it up and everything. I mean, like, you expect Ryan Reynolds to be Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. He is Deadpool. That's not even a question. But Hugh Jackman really brought it this time. <laughs> I feel like he's going to… I, I feel like he does so well while he's acting. But I can really imagine how they crack up behind the mm-hmm. scenes. For sure. It's so intense. But For sure. Yeah. Ryan, um, Ryan Reynolds, I'm so happy that he also… I mean, fine. There's also this question of right now. Actually, it's an online debate, especially right. with um, Robert Downey Jr. coming back as uh, right. Doctor Doom, right? Right. So uh, it's like people are just people don't stay dead anymore. Well, but this is a comics. this is a time. Yeah, I know. But this is a time that it's okay with me. Like Fair. for for Hugh Jackman, no no matter how beautiful that Logan ending yes. was. Yes. But I, I'm okay with it. That's Usually, I wouldn't be. That, yeah, I agree. I think it was handled very well. I mean, just addressing it in the first five minutes that yes, he did die, mm-hmm. but we're gonna fuck it anyway. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> fuck his memory anyway. Yeah. Oh, how did you guys feel about all of the different Wolverines? Oh <laughs> my god, <laughs> had to go through. Good question. You had to ask <laughs> the comic book so fans. Cool. No, I think. Okay, I, I okay. think Misha and I were kicking each other. It's like, ooh, 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 ooh. No, it's no, no. Wolverine. It wasn't just that. This guy would be like, I might be holding your hand at some point during this movie. And he did. <laughs> did I? I, I did. Yes, you did. <laughs> it's like you didn't hold mine. You held mine too. You held back. <laughs> there was hand holding involved. Uh, I'm sorry. You had to be there. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Especially when the comic accurate Wolverine oh, came Oh, I out. love the comic accurate Wolverine. <laughs> oh, oh, Julie, look like, at you. No. <laughs> it was good. We it had, was so We weird. had Age of Apocalypse Wolverine with one hand. We Brown had, suit Wolverine. We had comic accurate five foot three Wolverine. Yes. Patch. Wol- <laughs> we had Patch. Patch yeah, was yep, there. Playing cards. Mm. Um, but we had Cavalrine. Cavalry! Cavalry. <laughs> no, you know that 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 cavalry scene? Mm. Like I wasn't even sure what happened because it just cuts That's right before. Right. Right? I was like, right. Misha, what happened there? I thought, did they make a mistake? No. But um before a couple of weeks before the movie opened, they had the 37 minute preview for, for, for media. And that's pretty much they didn't show it. They didn't show it. They <laughs> ended good. a couple of minutes after a couple that's of seconds good. after that. But they they cut out the reveal yeah. of who the motorcycle guy was. That's great though, because I love how again I'm gonna say it again. I love how self aware this movie is. Mm-hmm. So Meta. they pay they pay an homage to the character of Wolverine, That's right? That's one. Two is they make fun of the fandom. Yes, yes. Which I love. No, I think this is their way also of like like having John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic in Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, it's like okay, internet, you wanted to see him in this costume. Now we've done it. Shut up. Yep, 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 yep. So they addressed it. They made fun of it. Would he come back? He's actually shorter than Hugh Jackman. So I think he'll get away with it. He hmm. is? He is. Oh. Yeah. Hugh, yeah, Hugh Jackman is 6'2". I forgot how tall Henry Cavill is. Yeah. But if they do make something, we know that they'll treat him better than the douchebags like, across the street. <laughs> I forgot the actual word. Down the street. Down but, the street. But, but still, yeah, I mean… I think anybody at this point could do better than Warner Brothers has been for the last five years. Yes, yes but they're not the star of the show. No. no. Um, I, I would, it would have been funny if we saw Daniel Radcliffe or Danny oh, yeah. DeVito as Wolverine. Daniel yeah. Radcliffe, who, is, <laughs> who doesn't need to be CG to be short. <laughs> now he could be comic accurate Wolverine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he doesn't have the voice though. 
I like that he actually addresses it whenever it comes up. He's like, no, guys, I'm ripped because I have an obsessive compulsive personality and my parents are like physical trainers. So <laughs> this is, I wanted, I did this for me, not for Wolverine. The mm-hmm. only reason I'm in this conversation is because I'm short. <laughs> oh. And I acknowledge that, but thank you. Oh. <laughs> like, he's pretty classy. He is, he is. He's Harry Potter, after mm. all. But yeah, with, with between Bye 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 and that montage of alternate Wolverines at the beginning, it really set the tone of what kind of nonsense we were about to be watching. Mm-hmm. So yes. that by the time Wolverine and Deadpool are fighting against the 20th Century Fox logo, <laughs> 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 but like, you just accept it. You, you're there. Mm-hmm. You're, you're either with it or you're not at that point. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, as and in, we, were, we, were, we were with it. As a comic book fan, as longtime comic book fans, we were calling out each and everything we would recognize from the books, from the movies, you know, from any media where superheroes were involved in. It was pretty fun. It was ridiculous. Uh, no, no, no. It was fucking ridiculous. It was great. And I, I, I had such a good time. I cannot imagine having a better time I, with this movie. I think at some point I asked you what the fuck I was watching. <laughs> in a good way. In but a you good were way. Smiling. I was like, what the fuck am I watching? I love it. <laughs> Honestly, like I can see why a lot of <coughs> mainstream critics have problems with the movie because yeah. fine, the plot is very thin. Yes, it is. But who cares when it, it's Deadpool? I know at this point you know what you should know what you're in for, mm. and story is not what you're in for. I, obviously, I, I, I will still go back to what it is. It's fan service done right because it's treated with love and respect. It's an entire movie out of fan service. Yes. That's true, but it wasn't pandering. It wasn't pandering because it pan- it's no. still trying to. It still managed to tell an emotional story and it was an exciting story. And honestly, the things that it touched on, things about family, about family mortality, family. legacy. Not you that know, family. And what it means to be a hero. That's some MHA level shit. Yeah, actually. You know, and, and Hugh the Jackman power of was friendship. Act, I mean, Hugh Jackman was acting his ass off. Yeah. Hmm. You know, when he wasn't, you know, stabbing people, <laughs> he was acting. <laughs> but, yeah. but for the first time I've seen a fight choreography or you know that is more suited to the character of Wolverine because <laughs> he was crawling oh, all over yeah. the place yeah. like Wolverine would do what I imagine him would do in you know reading him in pa- comic book panels and also like when we saw Logan when he died um, it, it was refreshing also to actually see him draw blood with those things mm-hmm, and in this mm-hmm. case he had the perfect punching bag yeah. <laughs> in, in another idiot with healing powers I know it never ends. The, the best fight in the movie was in that fucking Honda Odyssey. Yes. 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 I love that fight scene. <laughs> like, oh my God. Oh, they did it to Avril Lavigne. No, no, they drove with Avril Lavigne. They drove with yeah. Avril Lavigne. But they but... played Greatest Showman when they started the fight <laughs> before going into Greece. Oh my God. Yeah. This, speaking of the songs, this. The soundtrack is brilliant. What are you wearing? Oh, oh a here we go. Us shirt. <laughs> I'm not going to tell them what your email address used to be, but… Shut up. <laughs> I know what it is, he told me. I know. But I strongly identify with that um, TVA worker <laughs> who would just slow-mo imagine Deadpool's ass to the Goo Goo Dolls song, Iris. Absolutely. That is me! <laughs> what about the last part when the yellow suit exploded? <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty that, sure a lot of things exploded He's 55 too. years old! I don't know if you get 65. No, 55. Okay. He's 55. Pero grabe pinatanda mo ng 10 years. I mean, oh, and he was, and he was impressive okay. kung mas matanda siya, di ba? That is true, okay, but when okay. Deadpool was checking him out, I'm like, yeah, we all see it. Like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, same. same. Not gonna lie. Hard same. Mhm. Yeah. <laughs> but come on, let's be real. You can't spell Hugh without H G H. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I mean, it is a possibility. Uh, it is a possibility. It, they don't have they don't have PED testing. It's not the physical. <laughs> it's not wrestling. No, it's not wrestling. No. There's Jason no use the thing. But it really was like wrestling, wasn't it? <laughs> it really was. I just really love the car scene, but also going to choreography. They had an old boy esque shot too. Oh yeah, yes. when they were fighting yes. all the bajillion Deadpools. Yes. That was pretty cool. Oh, Led by Lady Pool, played by Blake Lively. Blake. Lively. <laughs> not Taylor Swift, not guys. Taylor I'm sorry. Swift. No, but I love that his kids were there too. I know. Baby I wouldn't boy. want my kids saying those things. I would. Oh. I, I'd be oh. cool with it. Okay. I mean, you get to work <laughs> with your family. Okay, fine. Yeah. Fine. I, if, I, if I'm a, that kid and I grew up to be a teenager and I watch this movie, it's like, hey, That's my me. parents are so cool. And yeah. that, that is me. Fair. I mean, have, you fair. know, 
you know, it, that would be like the coolest experience if that was your parents bring me bring your kids to work day. That's yeah. the coolest bring your kid mm, to work you day. You get ever. the suit up. So, yep, your kid pool. Now say this filth. Yeah, and ba- baby pool. <laughs> and baby pool. Yeah, that was also his baby. Yeah. His baby's voice. I know. What the hell? But yeah, that was like ang interesting lang na parang ang daming nangyayari all of these many dead posts yes. hindi nagkakat hindi yeah. nagkakat yung shot patuloy pa rin siya oh my so god good. it's violent that I was know. so good and then the bus when they entered that yeah. bus and you see all the blood splatter it's like yes. oh, yes. oh, oh, oh so glorious it was kind of like what Shang-Chi was trying to do with their bus fight <sighs> But longer and more violent and with 100% more Stan Lee cameo. Yes. And more fun. And more fun. And with a better soundtrack. And Madonna. Yeah. With the blowjob song. (laughs) (laughs) Which I should know the title of. Like a prayer. (laughs) (laughs) There it is. There it is. I'm so sorry. (laughs) We apologize for our friend. (laughs) But it was. And then the fact that they brought in a choral version. Oh, now version. it makes sense. I'm really? down on my knees. Are you serious? Oh, I never thought of it it's like that. My filthy. mind is not filthy it's like yours. It's her filthiest song. I only know the reference because he stole it to me before. It's oh, her see? filthiest song. Okay, good for you that you know. You have now polluted me and Angel. Oh my God. <laughs> like Ryan Reynolds, it's another one of those things where he had to go to the person and bend the knee to use the song because she does not license her songs like 99% of the time. She says no. But in this case, he like, Told her the story. I think he showed her a rough cut. She even gave him suggestions on how to use the song, mm. which beats to hit with which lyrics. And yeah, it all worked out. But Ryan Reynolds, bless him, has not yet revealed what exactly her request was on the usage of the Ooh, song because he didn't want to spoil it. Mm. That's interesting. Now yeah. we know. I would like to. Know. I know. I also would like to know. That was perfect. Okay. I mean, like they 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 said there's other line. There's even lines from the movie that 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 they had to cut out. I can't even imagine. I'm like, meron pa? Like, what else? <laughs> you already hit Jackman's divorce. You hit Disney's Crabby. downward spiral. You even hit like Electra's divorce to the to Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> lahat. Lahat. So, like, the f- there's a, it's like a gold mine. It's just like no- if you like stick your hand into like a jar and then you get something. It's mm-hmm. always a fun surprise. Mm-hmm. The, the only thing I'm worried about this movie is that in time, because the references are all so time sensitive, uh, right. might not age well. That's true. We'll Parang, have- you had to be there. Yes. yes. Once the fans are gone. Yeah. Or it's old. not going to be as. <laughs> but I think that's <laughs> part of the charm and why the movie works, in that it's targeted at a very specific audience and it acknowledges that. And I think they chose the perfect way to cap it off with the end credit sequence and with that song. Like, holy shit. Aww. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was very emotional. Like, holy shit, they were all babies. I know. It's a, it really is a love letter to the, to the Fox universe. The right. Such a good song. Still can't believe they got Wesley Snipes. Good. I hope you have a time of your life. That's where I kind of teared up a little bit. I, would, I don't blame the you. Credits? I don't blame yeah, you. Yeah, that was like, that, holy shit. You teared, was, oh, you're come, teared oh, look at, it was like, there was oh, you're, 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 oh, you're, I love that song. I love that yeah, song. Yeah, it is a good song. There, there was Baby Jackman Baby before Jackman. he was HGH Jackman. Yeah, there was like Ryan Reynolds like, hey, I hope I get to play this version of a character someday. And then boom, fast yeah. forward to what? 20, yeah. 20, 15 years later. It he he had to letter. manifest it. Mm-hmm. I think that is the signature it. of the love letter towards the end. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. And even showing clips from like less successful entries like and Michael Fantastic B. Four. Jordan as Human Torch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I wish they got that. <laughs> no, not nah. really. No, I'm good. I'm good. Nah. I'm good with, I'm good with what I, we got. Um, I will confess, I have seen every bad superhero movie released except this one the, except that, 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 that Mike, yeah. fan four stick I think so fan yeah. four stick was that the poster it was they put a four in the middle yeah. of it I've never seen that in full every time I try I fall asleep it's on it, Disney it's Plus really right it's really bad it's really bad yeah, yeah didn't even oh wait New Mutants too I've never seen New Mutants it's actually kind of okay okay Um, overall, yes, I agree with you. It was a wonderful tribute to everything that had come before. And I admit wholeheartedly that it does absolutely nothing to push the narrative forward for the MCU. Not a fucking thing. You don't miss anything. And I don't care because finally after so long, Marvel, the MCU has put out something really good. 
Yeah, something, something that I after enjoyed. a while. After a while, yeah. I like, mean, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. Honestly, no, it really isn't. There were parts for me that were dragged it down a little bit. You know, when yes. you know Wolverine would explain why he's the worst Wolverine. Oh yeah, and yeah, my the, friends the, died. That okay. was a little uh, the exposition part. Yeah, yeah, it, it yeah killed yeah, the momentum. Yeah, yeah. But these are things you forgive. All of its faults, all of its yeah. you know mis mishaps or shortcomings. Yeah. I feel, I feel you forgive it. I feel like the money they could have used to shoot those sequences was spent on Chris Evans. Oh, Chris <laughs> Evans. <laughs> I mean, and that, bringing back everybody. I mean, no, no. I mean, like Deadpool did say it, right? Do you have any idea what he's doing to the budget? <laughs> it's why they killed him off. Yeah. Can, I, can, can I just say though? I mean, as far as caveats go and things that could have done a little bit better, yes, I agree with you. The movie grinds to a halt whenever it has to do exposition. Yeah. Because it's like you're just waiting for them to get back to the jokes. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's like yeah. chop, 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 Logan. I, w- I, w- I want laughs. I want laughs. But also, and this is something that Deng pointed out to me rightly, that his worst Wolverine origin tragic backstory was kind of half baked. So you're saying. Just because you went off to go drinking, all the X Men were killed while you were gone by anti mutant humans, and you come back there all dead. That's it. Like it wasn't like some they went into battle against Magneto and his forces, or like an army of Sentinels. No, it's just a bunch of people went up against you know like Storm <laughs> and somehow oh, killed no, them all. Kung tao lang, talaga ba? Like really? <laughs> That's against, what you feel bad about against Jean Grey. Against Jean Grey. You know, they might have even had a had a gambit. Mm-hmm. They might have had a gambit. I, 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 no, no, no. With an actual French accent. <laughs> Maybe not because Wolverine was surprised when they saw him in the void. Right? Oh yeah, he wasn't all like, "Oh, my friend Gambit." Oh, because he never got a movie. Aww. Yeah, he never existed. Mm. That's why he na- he made a name for himself. Fine, he, he did. I was happy to see Channing Tatum yeah, but do the powers. And they stuff. had one of the best fight sequences. Yeah, they got through some brutal shit. Yeah. Oh, I was surprised that Juggernaut part. Mm-hmm. When mm-hmm. um um X twenty three. Oh, cut I was off so his happy legs, to so. see her. Yeah. Me too. I was so happy to see, her. and she's got that li- like little growl. It, it, yes, it, it sends shivers down my spine. Her little yeah, I can't they, do it. But they made her lose the Mexican accent. I'm I, part of the cynical part of me thinks that it makes her more marketable. I mean, she did explain. I think in an interview when she says like, "Oh, oh, she lost the accent because she grew up in the states afterwards." No, that's fair. Mm. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. okay. I mean, like if a Filipino goes abroad, sometimes they lose the accent. Oh, okay. kahit na isang bakasun lang eh. <laughs> may accent. Meron na ako makilala galing LA pagbalik dito gumag. Anyway, 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 anyway. wrapping okay. up, wrapping, wrapping up. up. Okay, one last thing that I would change, honestly, I didn't need a third movie in a row where Vanessa only existed to be a plot device. <sighs> Uh, sure. Right? Yeah. Like he even calls it out. He's like, I did it for you. Now Ubus nga budget kay Chris Evans. Parang pang ilang beses na to. Come on, stop yeah. using her yeah. as yeah. an excuse or like, just having her be an excuse. Yeah. She's a wonderful character. She is. She is. So you just wish that. She was the best in the first movie. Yeah, truly. Yeah. truly. Mm-hmm. She was the best in the first movie. Parang, oh, okay, pinag break nyo sila. Mm-hmm. Don't see much of her. Mm-hmm. But he's still pining for her. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. It was just weird that he had to staple a toupee. <laughs> it's a <laughs> hair system. A toupee. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Peter! Peter! I love Peter. Peter. <laughs> Peter's the best member no. of X Force, and I'm happy we got to see yes. him again. Peter saved him. Peter, Peter saved the both of them. That was just the weirdest way to save everybody from an <laughs> army of Deadpools. Kay TVA na in love sa kanya. Diba? <laughs> damn, Peter. He Don't got Riz. Um, uh, can I just say the um, um, if you saw to the end credits, there is a little tribute there. Um, that is to the actor who played Peter. His son actually passed away a couple oh, of years oh, ago. So I'm the sorry. movie is dedicated to him. Oh. That's sweet. Mm. That's sweet. So I think it's really cool also, you know, that in a roundabout way, his dad saved the world. Aww. Right? That's kind of cool. Oh, I'm it's kind of cool. See, this movie is, is pretty loaded. I know. It's pretty loaded. That's why the people who say that <laughs> it has no heart, it, ha- it sacrifices action for meta jokes. I'm like, did you watch the same movie? Mm-hmm. Maybe just people who don't understand or don't know these in this information probably maybe, wouldn't maybe, understand. Maybe people who take themselves too seriously. There I guess. were those people who walked out of the twenty-three minute mark for it being blasphemous because <laughs> because he calls himself Marvel Jesus, which he's been doing in trailers for the last six months. So I don't know what their beef is. I mean, it's kind of true. 
Yeah, it kind of is. Kind of true. But though. you know, probably what? the same people who have beef about the Olympic opening. <laughs> that is probably true. But I'll, 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 I'll see your Olympic opening. I'll raise you one more thing before we close off. I don't think he's Marvel Jesus. Because think about it, Dare, uh, Deadpool, Deadpool, not Daredevil, Dare, Deadpool, <laughs> what? Deadpool, Deadpool. No, mm. Deadpool was a last-minute bait and switch that came in to revitalize an enterprise that everybody thought was dead in the water, and now it gives everybody fucking hope. So he's not Marvel Jesus; he's Kamala Harris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking kidding. I was like, no, really. It came out of left field. Nobody expected shit from Deadpool. Okay. And yet, it's the thing that everyone's the most excited about now. Uh, okay. Okay, but um, am I'll, I getting canceled? Maybe I don't know. By the Republicans, yes. No. <laughs> no, but I just wanted to say before we end things, I saw this interview with Emma Corrin when mm. she does mention they asked her about the cameos. Uh, she's quite confused about um. The Human Torch being there, because <laughs> like which character w- w- would you mean? But I like the fact that she jumps off of the off of that topic and she says it's beautiful in such a way that they give all of these characters endings, even characters who did not exist. Yes, yes, yes absolutely. I'm yes. looking at you, Gambit. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Like you most of these out here. Who is your dialect coach? <laughs> I would, oh, thank you so much. Um, I think it goes without saying. I think all yeah. three of us would recommend this movie. I would, but. Leave your logic out the window. Oh yeah, fuck it. It makes no sense. Yeah, don't whatsoever. try to don't try to like think of it as you know this is going to be part of the whole Marvel. Well, it is essentially a part of the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe. But think of it as a fun little side quest. Yeah, it's yeah. its own thing. It's its own thing. It's its own fun thing. So don't expect any seriousness. Don't expect anything that holds back in any way at all because blood, it's there. Shamelessness, it's there. <laughs> uh, what else? Sexual references are there <laughs> mm-hmm. with special socks and shit. Um, drug uh, use is implied. Drug use. Oh my god, g- cocaine grandma. <laughs> See, so it's like it's every single taboo. It's like a taboo bingo <laughs> that you would never expect from Disney. Oh, that so, would be a nice drinking game to play while watching the movie. Taboo bingo. Taboo bingo. No, but necrophilia. Really? <laughs> no, no. You know what? This movie should not exist. Mm-hmm. And on that note, I am happy in a roundabout way again. That we got shit like the Eternals and Quantum Mania because it just means that they fucked up hard enough that they could give us this. Hmm. I guess so. <laughs> Are we thankful for those? I'm happy. I was happy to see Harry Styles for like two seconds. For like two seconds, <laughs> and that for now will be the most you will see of him in a Marvel movie. Probably oh, until man. they make another Deadpool movie where they're like, hey, remember Harry Styles? <laughs> Kevin Feige didn't. But, we don't but know. yes, I, I'm happy this happened and just watch it for fun. Just have fun with it. Don't, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Just, Which is why I love it. Yeah. Yeah, so yes, recommend. For sure. For sure. Go out and watch this movie. Yes, if you haven't yet, well, obviously, you we would have already go. have if you've listened to this because <laughs> spoilers. Absolutely. Yeah, but there's so much more we can um, discuss. And in fact, we do have more to discuss. So stay tuned for our next release. Misha will be talking about his trip to Korea. That is true. Meeting Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. That was so cool. Yes, we will be talking about it in the next episode. He looked like he smelled nice. You can actually smell him. That doesn't work in English, no. Nope. (laughs) Mukash (laughs) Mabango. Nope. All right. So we we hope you enjoyed this movie. We hope you nerded it out uh, along with us. And if there's, I'm sure we missed a lot. So um, anything else you would like to share in our comment section, in our social media, feel free to share what your favorite parts were, your favorite cameos, and anything else you want to talk about here about Deadpool and Wolverine on our socials at Subatours Podcast. We're on TikTok. We're on Instagram. Instagram, and we have a Facebook group, Saboteurs We Like Movies. And once again, we'd like to thank Disney Philippines for having us over and Art and Communications, of course, for the invite and always Woo-hoo. supporting us. Yay, so uh, we'll see you guys in the next one where Misha will nerd out. Wee! And make us all jealous. And I don't want the world to see me. Uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay. That was cool. Hey, actually, that was fun, guys.